respected each other's territories. But if Bernie's had one of Jack's boys killed, peace is over. This could be the beginning of a war. Lang's one of the old breed. He's into pubs, betting shops, street corner protection. Bernie came later. He's into gambling clubs, pornography, prostitution. But he's never tried to move across the river. You think he's moving now? Spiking stars, and that's what counts. Here? The guy lives here? He's old school, like I said. I hope you like fruitcake. Fruitcake? So, how's my old mate Gordon Spiking today? Uh, he's very well, Mr. Lang. Yeah. He sends you his regards. <laughs> Does he now? You hear it, Tommy? Well, you make sure you give him our best regards. He's sorry he couldn't come himself, but he is, of course, rather busy. Oh, yeah. What's he on, then? Frank Price's murder. Well, that, uh, that sounds reasonable. Frank Price was one of your boys, Mr. Lang. You must be very interested to know how he was killed. Unless, of course. Unless, of course, what? I took him. You, one of your boys. Now you listen to me. And you, Margot. I had nothing to do with Frankie's killing. And Spike knows it. Just like he knows full well who did. You think so? Oh, yeah. I know so. And I'll tell you something else. Tell Spike he's to get his skates on and pull him in. Because if he don't, there are them that will. Granddad! 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 Ah, tell me, my little one. How are you, my love? All right. Did you have a nice day at school today? Yes. It's lovely. Give Granddad a kiss there. <laughs> Yeah, didn't I? <laughs> Here, say hello to some nice people. Go on. Go on. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like a nice piece of Nana's cake? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Would you give me another kiss then. Ooh, lovely. Hold oh, still. Oh, yeah. Tell Spikings he's got uh, 48 hours. Two days. That's all I'm giving him. Two days to pull that... <laughs> uh, to pull that party in. Otherwise. Otherwise, you'll do what, Mr. Lang? Oh. <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, yeah. He knows. Yeah, mate, what you got? I've had a right result. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't go to Sabat, I ain't got all night. <laughs> So much for Lang's 48 hours. One of Bernie Silk's mob was topped at the dog track last night. And nobody saw a thing. A revenge killing. What else? Atlantic. We moved to maximum surveillance. I want round the clock teams, phone taps, the lot. On watch yourselves. Looks like we've got a war on our hands. And this is your phone, and I'm going to use it. Do you mind? Didn't you hear what he said? Yeah, I'm going to be tied up for a couple hours. 
This is important. Everything's important, make peace. It depends on how you look at it. Well, I'm not waiting. Well, I didn't ask you to. But if you don't come Shh. now. Hotel Bridgewater. Yeah, you got a Miss Angie used there? There he is. Come on, come on, my son. Come on. Lovely. Oh, do we go? Oh, yeah. I know I'm late. 22 minutes, but who's counting? I decided to walk. It's a good day for her. I love this town, don't you? Well, at the moment, I'd say... Getting better all the time? Now. Sounds like goodbye. No. You must have a pretty tight schedule. I'll loosen it for you. What are you working on at the moment? You. No, seriously. I'd love to know. Contract killing. When do you go back? To the hotel? To the States. Oh, tomorrow. Or the next day at the latest. I can't leave it much longer. You open to a little friendly persuasion? <laughs> that depends on how pricing you are. Somebody's here. Here. Where is he? He's busy. He'll be Get him in here. Fast! You like the decor? It's not quite my taste, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, he is with some good faces. Charitable work. He's uh, just coming. I'll be next door. You stay. Mr. Spikings. What a pleasure to see you. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Colors a nice touch, Bernie. In mourning, are you? Mourning? For your boy who got done at the dog track last night. What's your problem, Chief Superintendent? Not mine, Bernie boy. Yours. Somebody's just given Jack Lang a surprise present. Oh. Yeah. Blew out one of his betting shops a couple of hours ago. Did they now? I trust you don't think it was me. No, I haven't got you down as a bomber, Bernie. Not personally. You haven't got the guts. I don't have to listen to no, this. No, but one of your firm... Well, that's different, isn't it? You're very good at giving orders, aren't you, Bernie? Chief Superintendent, I know nothing about this bombing. I've got no quarrel with Jack Lang. But if you persist with these allegations... You'll do what? To hell with you. I'm going to phone my solicitor. No, you made that call. Look very good in the newspapers. I'm a respectable businessman. <laughs> Since when? I do a great deal for charity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Well, you make that call, Bernie, and I guarantee you can whistle for your knighthood. Is there anything else? Not just now. But I'm breathing on you, Bernie boy. Can you feel it? Right on your neck. You make one wrong move. Just one, and I'll nail you to the wall. You got that? 